Hello, welcome to the Specialty Toys Network's training session on toy safety alerts. These are the required warnings from the Consumer Product Safety Commission for toys. Uh, we'll show you qu uh, quickly how easy it is to manage your CPSC um, alerts for products. So let's jump over to our Demos Toy Store. We've got a product up, pulled up here, the front end loader from Lego. And we, I've intentionally added some extra safety uh, alerts to it just to show you how to clean them up and how to assign them. You'll notice that this page has several safety alerts. And in fact, the only one it should have is the small choking hazard for products. So how do you fix that? Let's go to the back end of the product editor. Um, here we're in the product list. If you're already in the shopping cart in the back end, you just go to the list products drop down and you'll get right here. We're sorted by product name, so let's just do a search for front. And there's our product that we want. We'll right click on it to go to edit. That'll pop up all our full details. And under the features tab here, we have our safety alerts. Okay, so we can see right away that this has been labeled with the small parts, small ball and marble. Obviously we don't need these other two, just leave the small parts. Click Save. That product is saved. We go to the front end now, refresh it. System is updated as it should be. Very easy to manage. So you can put all kinds of information in here. Let's just jump back real quick. If you wanted to, you could write your own safety text in here. Uh, probably English should be better just to show you where that goes. And you can turn off or assign as many safety hazards as are required. The safety hazards that we supply, we get from manufacturers. So on the import tool, I'm just going to cancel out of this. On the import tool, if you bring in products, they have associated safety information, but it's still the responsibility of the retailer to make sure that the final safety data is correct for your products in your store. A couple other things we want to point out to you. We've got some other resources here. If you go to the help section and scroll down a little bit here on your left. Okay, let's see, under shopping cart, or products creation actually. Under safety warnings, we've got a few pages of resources. Um, how to manage that, including how to manage by CSV, import, export. Um, we've also got on the front end of the website, if you log into the members login page and then go over here to the users menu on the side, down here towards the bottom we've got some CPSC info, including Consumer Product Safety Commission links to some useful um, legal paperwork, as well as other resources from TIA, from Consumer Products Safety Commission website, etc. Um, one of the things we have on here too is um, information on CSV, import, export. Each different hazard has an assigned ID. We won't really go into that today. That'll be more for the CSV import export lesson. Just wanted to introduce the concept of managing those safety warnings from the back end of your system. Thanks again for a quick tour of the toy safety alerts within the Specialty Toys Network product system.